Solid chamfering has now been added to the FeatureCam 2011 functionality. On this example file, you can see we've got some notes around the file that just highlight we actually require chamfers on the model before machining. So you can see we're highlighting one millimeter chamfer here, and also one millimeter chamfer on this edge, and then half a millimeter chamfer on the other internal edges there. So I'm just going to hide all the curves for the time being and go into my solids toolbar and you'll see we've got the new icon here to choose for chamfer. So I'm going to select the chamfer option and I'm going to choose my edges. So the first option, double click on that edge, double click on that edge. This gives you my two curves on my paths for my chamfer. I'm going to apply. Say OK. I've now got my chamfered edges. Just to highlight that, I'm going to go into the colouring, change the selected. Just get those blue areas there. So I'm going to repeat that process for the slightly smaller chamfer. So in this case, the size is 0.5 of a millimetre. And I'm going to choose my edges from my model again. Select that edge there. Select that edge there of the pocket. And select that edge around the outside as well. Apply. And OK. And again, under the colouring, change the selected. So I now have my edges created with all the chamfers. I can now apply these to my features. So in the case of this model here, I want to change side operation to include that chamfer there. So I'm just going to say, here's my chamfer between this face and this edge here. Let's say OK. And these regions here as well. So I've got my pocket, so chamfer operation. See OK. And this side operation as well. See OK. So I've now created all my chamfer operations. I just need to change my tool selection to my tools just check my results just to make sure I have tools selected which I do and then run a 3D simulation on my part There's my two chamfers and my model finished.